so this bill is aiming to finally tackle these sexual allegations in like when it comes to students in school and stuff like that finally there's going to be a bill that's going to hopefully kind of stop this from happening and stop it from them pushing these um these predators and stuff like that um to another school and stuff and just keeping the act to continue and continue so now if you want to hear a little bit more about this stay watching this video So, I'm glad that we've come to a place where we can start doing that, bro. Right? That we can start having that. So, this next one is going to be a bill that aims to protect New Mexico students from sexual abuse. This is a bill that should already be here. This should not be something that we're just, like, barely talking about now. But a little better late than ever, I guess. But still. Let's go. Bill aims to protect New Mexico students from sexual abuse cases we hear about most we don't a proposed law aims to lift the veil of secrecy when a school worker is accused of crossing the line with children to keep them from moving from district to district see that's they should not be moving from this this is why you this is the same thing with the catholic church and the priests you just move them thinking oh no what maybe it's just a child that they're no this is just something wrong in their head on special assignment news 13's lizay mitri reveals how lawmakers want to strengthen the law and stop schools from passing the trash former teacher gary gregor is serving a prison sentence of more than a hundred years for raping and molesting girls in elementary school Ten years after the abuse, Nayeli Hernandez faced him in court. He actually made eye contact with me and I just felt so much more empowered when he did that because I didn't have that scared look in my eyes that I did when I was younger. What students learned in his class is monsters are real, a Santa Fe District Court judge told Gregor at his sentencing. The most recent in a string of civil suits against the 64-year-old accuses him of abusing at least 12 elementary school girls in New Mexico. They tried to reach out and ask for help, and there were systemic failures here in New Mexico. Sexual misconduct out. I ain't surprised at that at all, bro. I ain't surprised at that at all, that there's systemic you know, flaws and just different things like that, bro. This is why these things keep happening. Allegations against Gregor dated back to 1994, before he even came to New Mexico. But the state gave him a license in 2001, and he taught here for about a decade. Lawsuits claim despite teachers, parents, and students raising red flags about his disturbing behavior, Gregor continued to teach for sixth grade special education at Ortiz Middle School in Santa Fe, fourth grade at Agua Fria Elementary in Santa Fe, then at Mountain View Elementary in the Española School District, and second grade at Fairview Elementary School in Española. These educators that abuse are often helped by school officials who let them quietly slip away when allegations arise. This practice of passing the trash finally has our undivided attention and it must be addressed. Democratic Representative Debbie Serignana is one of five legislators sponsoring a bill to change the law to add more safeguards to protect New Mexico students against abuse. To see the scope of the problem they're trying to address, we reached out to the New Mexico Public Schools Insurance Authority. It provides liability insurance for all New Mexico schools except the Albuquerque Public School District and charter schools. One of the big cost drivers that we have within our liability expenditures is, of course, sexual uh, misconduct and uh, sexual molestation, things of that sort, which is pretty unfortunate. This shows costs increasing in recent years, not from when the settlements were paid out, but from when the misconduct is alleged to have happened. Over the past decade, payouts totaled anywhere from one and a half to two and a half million dollars before spiking to 8.4 million in the 2018-2019 fiscal year. And those numbers don't even include the $22.3 million in settlements following lawsuit after lawsuit against Gregor because those cases go back even further. The hope is that over time that these claims are mitigated and we start to see less claims. Right now, they average about nine claims a year. Just nine claims. When I heard nine claims, that, that's tough to stomach. Setting Yana has been... Yeah, nine claims is still way too much. I mean, one claim is still too much. Like, well, there should be no claims, like, whatsoever. And a teacher herself for 20 years. It happened at one of my schools. Somebody was there, and then they were gone, and nobody knew anything about it. 
And, and we just have to stop this. House Bill 128 would make it so if someone does get fired for inappropriate behavior, it's not kept secret. School districts will be allowed to publicly disclose the reasons. And even before they get the job, the hiring process will involve looking into past misconduct allegations instead of just an FBI background check, which may only reveal criminal convictions. It's an attempt to close any loopholes that allowed someone like Gregor to move from school to school in New Mexico for so long, despite complaint after complaint about his behavior with girls in his class. Nearly two decades after the alleged abuse, some of his former students are still fighting for justice in court. On special assignment, Liz Amy. Bro, two decades and the, and the girls are still fighting for, you know, you know, for this stuff, bro. You know, and they're still fighting for this stuff. It don't make no sense to me whatsoever. They should, this should already be, um, this should already be figured out, right? You know, this shouldn't even be an issue right now. Like, it shouldn't. Like, they should already, you know, But yeah, so like, this it should be resolved right now. None of this stuff should be, you know, any of this. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Man, like, just you need to fix this and just get these girls, you know, give them some justice, bro. Give them some justice. But yeah. But yeah, oh, just it's just crazy, bro. It's just it's just crazy. But yeah, I think they definitely need like like they need justice. Like all this that they're doing, all these little things, you know, that you know they, you know, you know, are you know talking, you know. Like, this shouldn't even be an issue, right? This should not be an issue. This should already be resolved. We shouldn't even be having no, um, we shouldn't have none of these issues anymore. Like, there should be no claims, none of this. These girls should have justice already. Not two decades later, bro. It don't make no sense, right? Ah, come on, like, and, like, I'm all for it, man. Just off these, uh, off, like, just, ah, bro, come on, man. Like, these girls, they don't deserve that, like, at all, like, whatsoever, not a little bit, nothing, this should not be happening, bro. Our judicial system, our school system, all of this should be way, way. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you so much, more than you ever know. So, Crayon Rocket, our motto is, be unique, be creative, be you. Why is this important? Because we were all created in the image of God. We were all perfectly and wonderfully made. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Share it, like it, subscribe. I would appreciate it. God bless.